Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today I will be making for you our Warm Flannel Soap 2023 edition. This is actually the first ever YouTube video we ever filmed, but this is the new and improved version. So stay tuned and see the updated Warm Flannel Soap. Alrighty, let's get this Warm Flannel Soap making started. I will be making this soap for you today and we'll start out just like we always do and that is by putting our lye water which is at about 110 120 degrees into our custom plant-based oil blend and that is down in the description below if you want to check that out I'll then strain in our colloidal oatmeal and our extra water to um, offset what the kaolin clay that is in our fragrance oil removes from the soap and we will just blend this up. This soap has a special place in Rainbow Craft's heart and that is because this is actually the first ever fragrance of soap that we made a video for and that was back in January, end of December, beginning of January, which is hard to believe. That soap video we actually filmed for a business competition we took place in last year um, in the first almost 10 months of the year which concluded in October of last year and we actually placed uh, in the top 10 of the um, entire Oregon, Washington and also Alaska region. It's the um, Northwest Business Impact Pitch competition. We didn't win, unfortunately. We did have a good time. We met some really cool people, and we also started filming our soap making at that time because we had to make a commercial for our business. So that's actually the intro video for our channel, and it's one of the first videos. And then we also um, added in a little clip of us making this soap to show what offset us from other competitors for the 2023 refresh of this fragrance i am doing three different colors i am doing a maroon red color and then a warm brown kind of coppery brown color and then an uncolored soap base as well the thing with the warm flannel fragrance oil which is from brambleberry is that it does discolor to dark brown it also makes the soap batter yellow so it takes you on a wild ride of color shifting from the raw soap batter stage here where you can see in the left it's kind of yellowy color and normally it's more of a pale ivory. You will also notice that I separated off about a cup's worth of frag or fragrance free soap base because I wanted a nice clean white color to add to our top design as well. I'll hand whisk in the colors and then just finish them off with the stick blender to make sure everything is well incorporated. The thing or the reason why I'm doing this is because of the pattern I am wanting to do, which is a three layer pattern, and then we do a hanger swirl. The trick with a hanger swirl is you want every soap color, soap base color to be the same or similar consistency. And when you're adding different colors and things, Different colors can affect the consistency of the soap base and how they're setting up and things like that. So I hand whisked them in except for the last minute just to make sure that it does what I'm wanting it to do. I'll pour almost all of that brown soap base into the soap mold and then I'll add in the almost all of that maroon colored soap base as well. I'll do the same as I did with the brown soap base which is to reserve just a little bit for the top design. The soap batter is a little thin, so you wanna, at least at this stage for this batch I made, so I wanted to be pretty careful that even though I'm doing a hanger design, a hanger swirl design, I did still want nice clean lines. So that's why I'm doing this instead of just doing like a, a drop swirl or something like that. For the top layer, I will put on that uncolored soap base as well and we'll break that fall again with our scraper just to keep the lines as nice and clean and neat as possible.
this soap much like our autumn equinox soap which i posted that video on tuesday and i'll put a card up in the corner here is one the fragrance at least that we are drawn to for any sort of autumnal warm cozy vibe soap it definitely gives you like a warm baking spice scent with some complexity and this the warm fragrant wood scents as well really help give you the autumn feel that that you're going for and that is what inspired this design as well i was thinking like a flannel shirt like a brown and red flannel shirt which is where the design came from now that i have scraped out all three of those soap containers i will go in and fill the gaps with that unscented soap base because that's going to stay that crisp white color and I wanted that contrast between the brown, the red, and it looks yellow on the screen but it actually is going to turn a dark brown and you'll see that in the finished product picture at the end here. The nice thing with this fragrance oil in particular is that it does not accelerate. This is giving me tons of time to work with it and it still is at a workable consistency that even if I hadn't started pouring until now I would have been fine. But this is the point where I realized that I forgot to do the hanger swirl so I squeezed that hanger tool below the top layer and I swirled the basically the bottom portion of soap and then we'll do the feathering design that we have become really big fans of. And I just like that color contrast of the white, the brown, and the red. It looks very fall. And those colors, except for the white one, will deepen quite a lot. So that contrast will be like kicked up to 11. And then the final step for the top is that I will put on some cranberry seeds. That's what those little red things are in that dish that I'm holding. It's pretty hard to see on camera because they're so tiny but they're a nice bright red in this form. And then once the soap cures, the heat kind of turns them a brownish, more like a mahogany color, but it just is a nice little addition. You can also put these in the soap, which I haven't done. And then 24 hours later, it is time to unmold and you can see that those colors have darkened considerably, even the cranberry seeds on top. The one weird thing with this fragrance oil is that the top layer that was uncolored but fragranced took a couple days to start turning really dark brown. So as I'm cutting this, you'll actually see it stills pretty yellow, which isn't a super cute design. The final design looks way better than this. But that feathered design is exactly what I was wanting. I did have an issue with the soap cutter and I don't know if I was just really tired or what, but I tried to slice this on the, the side, the soap side, so the seeds didn't drag through it. And then the soap loaf got stuck on the wire. So that's why I flipped it over. And there you can see that really cool hanger swirl design that kind of is reminiscent of a plaid shirt which is exactly what i was going for and once the air hits that soap batter it'll discolor to a dark brown and then the base will be an even darker brown in the future for this design i may do an unscented layer to keep that design nice and crisp but that is it that is our warm flannel soap which will be for sale November 1st online and in person. So definitely check this one out if you love fall scented bath and body product. If you want to support the channel, we do have a subscription service and you can become a foamy homie or a study buddy and get soaps of the month from us and some other fun perks. So check that out at our website. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe that helps the channel out as well. Thanks. Bye.